And a man accused of beating four-year-old James Dunkley to death was sentenced to life today. Zarek Marquez abused Dunkley for months before he died in 2019. Today, the court detailed those extensive injuries he caused and highlighted how CYFD might have played a part. News 13's Jessica Baron has that story. You are a truly evil man, Mr. Marquez, and you deserve to spend the rest of your life in prison. That's what first responders who tried to save James Dunkley in 2019 had to say to the four-year-old's killer, Zarek Marquez, in court today. State prosecutors read statements and explained the horrific abuse the boy went through. Dunkley had skull fractures, broken bones, and multiple bruises, a total of 30 injuries across his body. This wasn't just a one-time incident. This was really his whole life, but more importantly, for four months that he went through extreme pain, extreme neglect. New video was played in court, which shows Marquez's daughters describing the abuse. Did somebody get in trouble? Yeah. Who does? Uh, James. James. Mm -hmm. What happened to James? Jump on him. Who jumped on him? Um, Daddy. Judge Stan Whitaker also placed blame on CYFD. The agency had been called at least 13 times. Whitaker says CYFD should have taken him out of a dangerous situation. I've heard much about the system, how it continually fails. I mean, we, we hear too much of this. Uh, we hear too much of, of, of CYFD going in and um, seeing folks and uh, seeing children in, in situations where probably kids should be taken out. Dunkley's grandfather, Kevin Nelson, also saying in court today his death could have been avoided. I mean, if, if you were unhappy with James being in your home, you could have always just dropped him by my house. I would have gladly taken him in, as I've done time and time again. Judge Whitaker said this was one of the worst cases he'd ever seen in his career and sent his Marquez to life. He will be eligible for parole after 30 years. I certainly uh, hope that uh, if... Uh, in the 30 years in, in uh, DOC that you, you find some way to reflect about the gravity of what you've done to somehow change you uh, from, from uh, what is certainly a clear example of, of sort of evil. Jessica Barron, CareQE News 13. Last month, Marquez tried to take back his plea deal, but the judge denied him. Today, Marquez's attorney says she plans to take the case to the state Supreme Court.